All right, we're going to do what I mentioned yesterday, and I mentioned a reply to a couple of comments from various folks. We're going to try and overdrive this. I moved the camera position because I have translucent doors on my workshop, and uh, I was getting way too much backlighting. Hopefully, I will try and keep my arm out of the shot. So I've got a power supply here ready to do our thing. Uh, I was thinking about opening up the power supply that it comes with, but I'm not going to do that yet because there's no screws. I'm going to have to pry this open, and I don't know if it'll be usable after that. But one thing I am going to do first is I'm going to make sure this is actually center positive for when I hook up my other power supply. So I'll kind of get that, turn the power supply on, and yeah, it's center positive. Okay, that's good. So that power supply is off, and I've got this one plugged in, and I'll plug in my benchtop power supply, or not plug it in. I will connect the wires. get a piece of plastic so they don't ground short against each other. And I'm going to set the max, the max the amperage that I've got set on this right now is 200 milliamps. So I'm going to take it up to about uh, 600 milliamps to start with a voltage of, come on, voltage, what are you doing? Why are you not There we go. Why are you only going up to six? Oh, because I've got the limit set up. I'm sorry, I'll take the limit up to like 14. Now I'm going to take this up to 10 volts, which is uh, two volts less than the maximum they describe. And now at basically three times the amperage that they mention, for this, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, and this should start spinning, but it's not spinning. Why is it not spinning? Let me double check. I'm getting voltage through the connector because my output is showing 10 volts and my meter is showing 10 volts, dead on 10 volts. So I'm going to turn this back off so I don't plug it in live. Okay, I just took it up to one and a half amps, which is a lot higher than I want to be. I'm going to take it down, say one amp. It's still pulling like one volt. This is not, this is not what I expected. I'm going to turn that off for a minute. I'm going to ra raise this up just a hair. So that's 9 volts at 1.5 amp. Okay, I'm sorry, it's not working because this didn't clip clamp. So I'm going to have to do it this way. Okay, one more time. So we're at 10 volts and 1.4 amps. Trying to get my arm to not be in front of the camera. Nope, still bogging down. I'm going to drive the amperage up some more. Going to go to 2 amps. 
maximum. Take the voltage up to 12. There we go. And we're showing 1.3 amp. That's 2.5 amp. There we go. That that went through. Try it again. This is it. Uh, running at 12 volts, 1.2 amps right now, 1.7 amp, Okay, so I'm not feeling any particular extra heat on the motor. Seems to be working fine. I'm going to be really adventurous. I'm going to take this up to 3 amps at 12 volts. Let me get another spot where I haven't drilled already. See what it does. Okay, it's not bogging down at all, much at all at 3 amps. Maxed out about 3.5 amps. Motor's getting a teeny tiny bit warm. So there you go. Uh, I think that that shows you that it'll take a 3 amp, uh, 12 volts 3 amps, and not bog down when it's doing that. So. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I may cut the video here. Let me turn off this power supply. I may cut the video here.